So good evening, friends. Meeting again with the same aphorism till today with the first aphorism. And we have to go ahead with the last part of the aphorism as it is termed, learning the cardinal principles of homeopathy. And while discussing those, the last cardinal principle that is the doctrine of chronic diseases, which we are discussing, and we are we are discussing it in length. We have to understand each and every aspect about it. And that's why I have given maximum time because there are many, many, many lacunas in understanding the concepts of myasms as explained by Hahnemann as well as, as explained by the king. And that's why we are discussing since long time the myasm. Uh, we have reached, we have learned the Hahnemannian concept of myasm uh, suppression theory behind Sora psychosis syphilis in depth. And later on, we have started discussing about the Kent's aspect of understanding the myasm. The two days we have, we have spent only for understanding the Sora, the concept of Sora from Kentian point of view. So Sora, what we have learned is nothing but the Sora is simple, functional, ego, egoistic, self, having the self-esteem, very, very intelligent, very inquisitive, very theorizing, very philosopher, all those things which we have discussed over there. And this, this nature of the Sora, because of intelligence, he, he used to answer a lot and you get ample things while dealing with the Soric personality and we can learn a lot from Soric personality. Then we have learned uh, after that there, is, there are at the physical level, simple acute inflammations are quite common with them. And second important thing which is there with the Sora that even early stages of chronic inflammations are covered with the Soric things. Sora is trustworthy person. He used to, unless and until someone teases him, he never reacts. And that reaction is according to the action. So actions and reactions are equal and opposite. That is tit for tat. That type of reactions you can get with the Soric personality. Sora, as a physical level, averagely built, averagely nourished. And that's why even though obesity is there, that obesity is never immediately located in Soric personality because it is average. The whole it is according to the proportion to the height. And that's why one cannot immediately find it out the um, obesity in the person. The, and King of Antisorics, which we have discussed in last lecture, that is the sulfur, the sorinum, the graphitis, all those remedies which are there, that, that's what we have discussed. Now we have to learn a little bit more and we have to go ahead. So I'm sharing this screen. This screen is very important because we have learned a lot from the screen. So again, we have to go towards those things. So this is last slide which we have learned last time. Let us go ahead with the next myism to learn about the psychotic. So when you have to learn the psychotic myism from Kentian aspect, you have to un understand what is there in the psychosis. When we have to learn the psychosis, the inner weakness, weakness inside the self is the characteristic of the psychotic personality. They are internally so weak, but they never show it. They feel, they, they, they know their lacuna, but they want to hide it. Hiding is very important with the psychotic. They try to hide their inner weakness by building more and more. And that's why they look more obese. This is very typical with them. They look more obese. There is building. They, they are they build, their bodies are built. There, there is much more growth, which you can find it out. And this happens because, because there is no direct action and reactions equal and opposite as we get in Soric personality. Here, even though action is not there, the reaction is there because they, they are weak internally. If someone says them something like that, yes, if I am a psychotic person and someone comes and talks to me and tells. Uh, sir, this person was talking about you and he's telling there that this person is not good. Immediately, I never understand whether person has really talked about this or not. I start reacting to the situation in my mind. So what happens? My mind starts reacting to myself, not with the others. There is no action and reaction. Someone has said something, it entered in my mind, it produced an image and that to that image I was reacting and this situation is quite common with the psychotic personalities. They react with the things which are there in their mind which are created by someone even the 
incidents happened or not, whether it is a fact or not, no one understands, no one thinks uh, in, in such types of personalities and they immediately start reacting to this and that type of reactions which you can get in psychotic personality. So psychosis is like that. So what happens with the psychosis? Psychosis produces such types of reactions. They start reacting to themselves, not with the other. See, if you are reacting to your own self, what is it? You are fighting with your own self, not with others. The image which you have created in your mind and you are reacting to that mind. Yes, what, how this person has said to me like that and that. And he reacts and he is not reacting to the situation. It is not the thing. He is reacting to himself. And this is the reason these personalities always, always, always suffer from the mm, autoimmune condition. Their immunity fights with their own self. And the reason is that it is only because, because, because of their inner vision, because they react to their own image, because their mind is like that. And that type of mind creates a situation where their immunity never finds it out with whom they have to fight. And they start fighting with the self, with the self antigen. And that's why it is called as an autoimmune disorder. All autoimmune disorders to start with are always, always psychotic in origin. They lead towards the syphilitic, they lead towards the destruction after a lot of medication. Because medications which, you, which are there in allopathy, or modern science, they are only one, they are the only steroidal ointments or immunosuppressive therapy. And when you used to use more and more immunosuppressive therapy, it used to produce a destruction. So psych to start with autoimmune is always psychotic, it ends with the stability. And that's why all autoimmune condition generally starts with a psychotic matter. And they, are, they find it out a psychosyphilitic, they show it as psychosyphilitic matter. So it is called as a psycho psychotic myism. What is there with the psychotic? First important thing which you notice with the psychotic is they are very rigid or fixed in their ideas. They are very fixed. What is the fixity? Fixity means the thought which is there in their mind which never disappears, even though whatever they do. Rigid idea. One patient was brought to me with a, some similar fixed idea. She was a case of obsessive compulsive neurosis, OCD. So she was, she came for headache problem since last two, three years. And when it has started, some doctor she asked why I'm having the headache. Some doctor told that you have less blood inside your body because of which you have a headache. Then she asked that, then give me a blood. She has given one point of blood. And she feels better after that. And when, whenever the thing has recurred, she had a headache, she used to ask for blood. And otherwise she used to change the doctor. Before con coming to me, she had at least 33 bottles of blood she has consumed. Because that thought was there. It is only because I'm having headache because my blood is less. And that was so rigid. That was a compulsion. Even she was taken to the psychiatrist. But after psychiatric medicine, nothing has happened. That compulsion remained. And when she was brought to me, by her husband and her father. They were frustrated because of her nature. This fixity, this fixity never goes unless and until you give the psychotic remedy, homeopathic antipsychotic remedy. I have treated that case with the thuja and then the thought disappeared from her mind. This is what is a fixed idea. It is very rigid, whatever happens. That's why obsessive compulsive disorders are generally comes under the psychotic mind. This is very difficult with the uh, psychotic mind. So, keep it in your mind. All fixed ideas are rigid. They are never changing. They are 
always always fixed with the psychosis no no soric myosin is having such type of fixed pressure so their thoughts are rigid if they decide says this is the thing yes that that remains in their mind they never ask they they are not changeable they never adapts the thing they never yields they they are obstinate they are haughty regarding all those things and this haughtiness comes because they know that they are knowing very less even their memory is poor even their intellect is poor and they know that but they don't want to show it to the world as they don't want to show it to the world the they tries to hide it by any means so if you if they don't know the answer if you ask them question if they don't know answer they puts another question to them and forget the so that the person who has asked the question forgets what he has asked such types of things are quite common with the psychosis this happens with number of times whenever um, uh, certain psychotic teachers are there you put a question and they never answers your question they puts another question to you this is this is the psychotic personality which you can commonly find it out so this these are this is the thing their behavior is like that if you ask them any question and if they don't know what they will do they will do the way you do in exams what do you do in exam when you when question is asked you keep mm, yes 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 no this but you know, you know that you don't know and you don't want to show that you don't know this is psychotic reaction that psychotic reaction is quite common with this myas that is what is a fixed rigid idea so this psychosis which you can find it out over there the next reactions are fixed because of ideas are fixed the reactions are fixed so they behave in the similar manner every time their reaction never changes it used to happen in the similar manner if you ask this is wrong they will not accept they will not change because that that is not there they know that they cannot do it otherwise so psychotics are very happy if they knows the paper before exam then they stood first because they know this is the question this is the answer and they mug it up and writes it down if someone changes that question finished only the only the pattern need change they are absolutely disturbed because of that because they don't know more than that that is the problem with psychosis the psychotic the reactions are very very slow we have learned in soric myism active myism reactions are active very fast immediate here the reactions are very slow dull and they are also rigid they are also fixed this is the problem with the psychosis compulsion and compulsive action this is what we have discussed this is what is called as obsessive compulsive disorder obsession is very marked with them there was one person with me the one lady she was brought to me for by her husband and she was having ocd and she was so so fixed with that that she was not allowing any member of the home uh, house to touch anything inside the house daily she she requires one um one complete soap for cleaning the cleaning herself and uh, parvati daily one soap that is a so so fixed so rigid obsessive thought and she was not going she was going she had even given the ects but it has not worked this was the problem it has not worked in her case this happens because these are the problems with that so washing mania is nothing but it is a part and parcel when it leads to the destructive tendency that is washing mania when this starts with psychosis it ends with syphilis that's what i have learned excellent so syphilinum is the remedy for that yes washing mania but it is also there with the psychosis so this is one important thing then out of the feeling of inner weakness all those things develop this is the reason why it develop because of inner weakness what are the things which you find it out first important thing they becomes resolved 
because they know that their weakness and they don't want to show it to the world so better aspect is always to keep the things inside they are always keep things inside they never talk so freely with the other because because they know that if they start talking and someone puts some question they cannot answer instead of showing our inner weakness it's better to keep reserve so they become taciturn and that taciturn is the result of inner weakness never wants to talk so much second important thing when you are inner weak you know you are you are not having confidence you become more suspicious you doubts with other the doubt develops and that doubt is the result because because you know that you you don't have that capacity you might you think that there might be a chance that someone is uh, doing something against you and because of which your mind always becomes a uh, uh, suspicious that suspiciousness is very much suspiciousness it starts with psychosis it again ends with the superiority and that's why lacessis is most suspicious hyosemus is suspicious the suspiciousness is so strong that they ends with the destruction of that human being that type of suspiciousness which you can do when you are weak internally you become jealous of the others the, that is another thing the jealousy develops out of it so jealousy is the result of again the inner weakness you start comparing you start comparing with others others you start comparing with the other students you start comparing with other doctors you start comparing with your sibling you so this happens this type of jealousy is only because because internal mind is psychotic so jealousy then the vindictiveness malicious spiteful vindictive rubric is like that and this vindictive most vindictive remedy most hatred remedy cannot move even after someone says even someone says sorry they never changes their thoughts the hatredness remains forever acid nitric only remedy in repertory psychosyphility it starts with psychosis ends with the syphility and this is what is the thing. it is not natural mure it is it is nitric acid hatred person saw and there is unmoved by an apology that is the sub rubric only single nitric acid is there nitric acid is most psychosyphilitic remedy psychotic thought is there of suspiciousness and ends with the syphilitic aspect so vindictive they are so vindictive they are spiteful they want to take revenge that revengeness is always there which is which is always there with the psychosis so that they, they wants to take revenge with other very characteristic most liar personality in your matra medica are all psychotic remedies tuja is the most liar because they, because they knows that there is inner weakness and they cannot they cannot fight with others so in order to tackle the situation they starts getting the habit of telling the lie so they are always 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 remains to be lies so see how a single thing which reflects in different symptoms or different entities of the of this miasm in the individual so you can find it out very easily the how the psychotic person is there so when you deal with the psychotic you get a very little amount of case you get frustrated you become syphilitic when you take the case of psychotic person because you never get a data and then you are frustrated and then you never reach to right but you have to understand why this person is not talking why this person doesn't want to show why this person wants to hide the things why this person doesn't want to open his mind all those things that you have to catch that itself indicates this person is psychotic and if it if you understand psychotic your remedy should match that this maya then that case can be solved so finding it out all those things from the patient is very important so when you deal with the patient you ask the questions and they only answer in monosyllables yes no yes so yes doctor yes yes this is how they talk if you ask even a lengthy question their answer is like that very short answer then they want to keep the things inside with them 
more secretive in nature, more secretive. And that, that is the nature of the psychotic person. So it's too simple to find it out the psychotic person. You can catch it whenever you are, wherever you are, you immediately find it out. Only thing when, they, where, when their point comes right, they are very strong. Their attitude is very strong at that time. But once they know that they cannot know the thing that if someone puts, they either hide or they leave that place. That is very typical with the psychotic. So psychotic persons, you can find it out. There is an inner weakness associated with all those characteristics. The reservedness, the secretiveness, the taciturnness, the suspiciousness, the jealousy, the wind, malicious, spiteful, vindictiveness, liar, all those qualities. And another thing, all those things hides behind his face. It never expresses. He never expresses. He wants to hide that also. So when you see psychotic person, he remains stable. He never shows that he's angry. He's angry internally, but hides his expression. He never reacts because he cannot react. That is the problem. He doesn't have a strain to fight like Sorik. Sorik will be there to fight with action. Here the action is happened, but no reaction. This is too simple. So what happens with them? This with the psychotic world, they hide their inner weakness. And for that purpose, they keep their face mask like expressionless. False. These personalities are false. You cannot find it out what happened, what is going on in their mind. You find such types of personalities in your life. You cannot know. You Even though you stay with them, you never understand what is happening with their mind. These are psychotic persons. They never want, they never um, open up to show all those things. And that is what is a psychotic mind. So this aspect of psychotic, if you understand, then it becomes too simple to find it out such types of personalities when you deal with the psychotic patient. So what happens over there? The something fact happens and there is no direct reaction. So someone teases the psychotic person, he remains stable and he asks the others to react and he talks very pleasantly with him. This is the way the psychotic reacts. Because they know that they cannot react. And that's why they want the helper to fight against the situation. So you can find it out. These things are quite common with certain personalities. They always, they, there are always number of people runs behind them. Who are they? Just think it, worry. And same thing happens with antigen. The, against the antigen, it is not direct reaction. There are many helper cells comes together and then reaction develops. That's why in psychotic personality, the growth is the result because it is not single fight, same to face-to-face um, -face fight, but it antigen comes. Many, many, many cells comes together to react with the situation, producing a granuloma, producing a tumor, producing a cyst. These things happen with, the, with this specific myism. And that's why you get very clearly the growth is the characteristic of this psychotic myism. You get typical granulomas over there. That is psychotic in nature. So antigen, there is a reaction congregated growth. Against an antigen, there is congregated growth. The chronic uh, inflammation in which you can find it out such types of reactions, when the Invader is chronic one, like a tuberculosis, like a sarcoidosis. You get very typical granulomas over there. To start with, they are always, always, always the psychotic. Then they, they can label as a tuberculosis, or then they can go into the end stage, stability. But to start with, they are always start with this myelin. So in psychotic myelin, you get always one thing common. What is that? the glandular affection. They are quite common. So scrofulosis is always to start with is very typically a psychotic going towards the tubercular ending with the syphilitic. So miasmatic cleavage you have to find it out very clearly in such types of patients. 
so you have to differentiate in what stage the patient is there and this is what quite common with this psychotic so growth how they develop it is because of the helper cells many cells comes together showing a congregated reaction producing a growth and that's why if you find it out these characteristics you can get psychotic myasthen is very strongly present in politicians many politicians are like that they 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 always they never walks freely sing alone they always requires people around them wherever they go they always requires people around them they are very typical they 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 talks like that if you go with some work to them yes we'll try yes bagu bagu this is very typical psychotic answer they will not say yes we'll do it definitely no this answers in such a manner that you are getting confused only they are confused that they makes you confused that is very difficult with the psychotic psychotics are themselves are confused and they makes the others confused so this is very typical with this madam psychotic so benign growth tumors very typical of the psychotic madam generally the fibroadenomas fibroids polycystic disease or ovarian cysts wherever such types of growths are there they are always 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 psychotic in origin so at the physical level when you think about it the benign growths and tumor the fixed allergies another thing is fixed allergies so fixed allergy means what it is only with one or two ingredients with them there is always a reaction and that reaction is also fixed it is never changing if they used to get ovulitis they will going to get it ovulitis and ovulitis and there is no change there is no other any anything which happen if they develop mouth ulcers they will going to repeat the same thing again and again with that ingredient and that is only with that specific ingredient so fixity in allergy is another characteristic of the psychotic mind which is not there with soric soric it varies the reactions varies with sora you can get sometimes there is sometimes allergic area sometimes there might be itching sometimes there might be irritation in the eye sometimes it might be a throat affection it varies the reactions are not fixed rigid like psychotic in psychotic the reactions are very very rigid so this is this is one thing one should not forget so fixed allergies is another characteristic which you can get then another important thing the discharges they are accurate they are corroding the parts and have a characteristic order generally if you think about the medurinum it is fishbrine order that is very characteristic so order is characteristic with that remedy and with that specific myasthen it is typical in case of tuja the smell about genitals is sweetish type that is very typical with the tuja so when you find it out the specific characteristic that defines the psychotic myasthen mood and this is what is the psychotic traits so psychotic myasthen when you think physically also the reactions are rigid fixed and fixed pathologies are always there with this myasthen the personality yes this is the constitution the neck is very short they are short stature there are many many pedunculated warts you can find it out with them then there is a thick nose that is another thick and blunt nose is another important thing and very important is big head a quad bellied abdomen so here the obesity is unequal which was equal in soric myasthen in sora it is averagely built averagely nourished these are the short statured personalities which don't have a neck this looks like this this is very typical with psychotic psychotic constitution but keep it in your mind psychotic constitution might have a soric manifestation psychotic constitution might have a syphilitic presentation constitution will not going to change immediately or it is very difficult to change because it is fixed so when you think about it it doesn't mean that every time patient dominating myasthen is psychotic if you look psychotic at the constitution 
so again you should not be fixed or you should not be psychotic regarding the constitution and concept of psychotic this is how person looks that indicates the psychotic constitution is there but presenting myism might be sorry presenting myism might be psychotic presenting myism might be tuberculous or presenting myism might be schizophrenic it varies from individual to individual so constitution is rather different which is fixed entity and presenting myism is a changeable entity and those things you should not mix it up so that you can easily catch this difference so this is how the psychotic personalities look this is how they are puffed up puffed up means big obese root of the teeth is decayed you find it out the externally tooth looks normal but internally it is weak it is caries thuja is the remedy alopecia areata is very specific with the psychotic then they have another important feature they have hairy skin lot of hairs on their body hairy skin thuja medorino in case of females if the hairy skin is there it is called as hirsutism if you get you can get the rubric in face chapter the mustache or hairs on the uh, chin or the uh, lips of the women you can get the psychotic remedies over there and this is this is with the pcod polycystic ovarian disease this is quite common so these things are very important which one one must find then the psychotic diseases the asthma characteristically psychotic rheumatism characteristically uh, psychotic rheumatoid arthritis schizophrenia is another important entity paranoid schizophrenia to start with is always always psychotic obsessive compulsive neurosis always the psychotic and with when you think about remedy these are king of anti psychotic remedy or psychotic which are called psychotic so thuja is one of them everyone knows medorinum a nozod very fixed and third is natrum sulfuric second important thing this miasm is the venereal miasm so in the whatever stage it is there with the partner it directly gets transmitted with the another partner so after marriage if lady who was not having any problem in life all of a sudden starts getting pain in lower abdomen starts getting leucorrhea so starts getting rheumatism it indicates that after marriage she has contracted the psychosis from her husband and immediately suffered from that so psychosis can be transmitted directly with such types of contact which is not with the soric myeloma and this is the difference between the venereal myeloma and non venereal myeloma so this is what regarding the psychotic myeloma we have learned many things about the psychotic myeloma and there are many more to learn but we'll stop over there we'll conclude this myeloma today and i will meet after a week on 22nd we'll have a session one session or if i will let you know on the group whether it will be on 22nd or not and thereafter we'll start with same till that period a happy diwali to all of you and i like your participations this you are uh, getting added day by day many participants are added thank you very much and be there to learn the organ and in this way so that it will be more 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 practical thing there was one question kindly repeat fixed allergies of fixed allergies means it is fixed to any subject and their reactions are fixed they are not changing so if a person who is sensitive to a certain ingredient he develops a certain types of reaction it will happen at the same place in the similar manner it will not change wherever whenever it will going to happen it will going to develop in the similar manner so this is what is the fixed allergy with the psychotic myeloma so thank you being there many many um, uh, participants are there today thank you ali thank you anupam then thank you chaitrali danish divya anita jyoti neeta rajiv vasudev amit karuna prasuna yes thanks a lot pallavi har um, harchal kumud yes kumud meeting you after long time so 
yes what in organ yes, lectures i am uploading daily as uh, so whatever organ lectures are there those are definitely um, getting over there on youtube you can rip, uh, you can observe them over there again and again so thanks a lot and we'll meet after long time so a happy diwali to all of you and a prosperous new year thank you